Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Cybrosis. So today in this video, I'll teach you how to sell a product using the website module of Odoo 70. So it's very easy to create a product and sell it inside the website of Odoo. So you have the option to create the product from the front end as well as the back end. So you can easily create a product, you can set an optional product, you can set variants and everything can be found inside the website as well. So I'll show you, let's move on to the module and see how to sell the product inside the website. Okay, so now let me show you how to sell a product inside the website. So for that, first we need a product and let's open the website module. So inside the website module, you have a menu called the e-commerce under which you have a sub menu, which is called the products. So just click on the products over there and let me create a brand new product. So here in the product section of website, you can find all the published products, which means all of them are available inside the website. So let's create a new product. I'm starting it for the easy access. So just click on the start over here and you can specify the name of the product. So name of my product is a shirt. Okay. And after naming the product, you have the option to provide the general information, the attributes and variants, the sales, the purchase, inventory, as well as accounting. So under the general information, I'm just changing the product type to storable product. And then you have the invoicing policy. If you want, you can change it to delivered quantity. So by default, it will be under ordered quantities. So here comes the price, the ta taxes, the cost, the product category, and so on. Next, you have the attributes and variants. So obviously it's a shirt and it will be having different variants. So I'm adding an attribute, which is the color. And let me add three colors. That is, I'm adding three values for the attribute. So let it be black, blue, and some other color, let it be white. Okay. And then you have the option to add the picture. So I'm adding a picture from my system. Just open it. Okay, so here comes the picture of the product. Once you're done with that, you have the sales tab. Under the sales tab, you have the upsell as well as the cross-sell section where you have the optional product, accessory products, as well as the alternative products. So what is optional products? Optional products are basically suggested whenever the customer hits add to cart. Okay, and then you have these accessory products. So if you are ordering a mobile phone, you will be having accessory products such as chargers, earphones and all. Okay, so whatever the case is, you can add an accessory product over here. So I'll add some random product over here. So let it be a whiteboard pen. And for optional product, I'll add a bacon burger. I know that doesn't make sense, but still, let's add a random product. And we have an alternative product. In case if you are ordering for a keypad phone, the system will be suggesting an alternative product, which is a touchscreen phone. So I'll add it as a bolt. Okay. So here you have product description, which is for self-ordering. And then if you want to make this product available on POS, just check this. Okay. Then you have the e-commerce shop. Okay. So under e-commerce shop, you have the option, which is website. So you can you know, mark or specify the website on which this should be available to. Okay. And then you have the purchase tab. So under the purchase, you can add the vendor and all such details. Okay. So this is the purchase tab and here you have the inventory. Okay. So under inventory, you have the operations, the logistics and all such things. And also you have the traceability. Okay. And finally, we have the accounting tab. So these are, this is actually the basic things which comes while we are you know, creating a product. Okay, so this is done and I'm saving it. Okay, so the saving is done. Now you can directly go to the website and check on to this product. So this is how the product looks like inside the website. You have the different variants over here. So you have black, blue and white. So you can also specify pictures for the same. Okay, once you are adding it to the cart, you can see the product which I've added, which was bold. Okay, so go to add to cart. And then you can see the optional product which I've given, which is Beacon Burger. And if you want, you can add this to cart as well. So after you have chosen the product, the variant as well as the quantity, you can simply proceed to checkout. Okay. So proceeding to checkout, you can see the accessory product which I've provided, which is the whiteboard pin. Okay. So if you want, you can add that from here and simply check it out. 
okay the checkout is done and from here you can add the uh, payment method okay so we've added a demo payment method and i'm adding the payment details okay so once it's done you can simply click on pay now so the payment is processing okay so as you can see the message has come which is your payment has been successfully processed okay so this is how you can order for the product which you have created now mission admin is the one who created the product and inside the website mission admin can find the product okay so let me go to this uh, log out and i'm going to sign in as some other person okay so let me sign in as mark demo okay so from here i'm choosing the website and let's go to shop so this is the shop there okay so i am going to search for shirt and here comes the shirt which is the one which i have created now you know this is been shown as unpublished so that was the part which we missed okay so let's log out and log in as michel admin again and publish the product so only if you publish the other people can use it okay so i am just closing it going to the website Sorry, I've chosen the wrong module. So this is a website. Okay, so here in the website, you have the shop. Let's choose the product, which is shirt. You can open that, and you can see this is unpublished. So I'm going to publish it. Okay, so now let me log out as Michelle Letman. Let's check. Okay, once I've logged in as mark demo let's see whether the product is available inside the website or not okay so let's open the website module and inside the website you have the shop and let's check for the product so here comes the shirt which you have created now it's available because it's published okay so you can see the shirt here the price of the shirt all such things so the product which we have added is also here which is the bolt you can add to cart okay so the optional product is here you can proceed to check out and here comes the accessory product so i'm just removing this product okay and then you can check out and the payment can be done from here okay i've done the payment and once it's done you can simply click on pay now and you can see your pro i mean we are processing your payment and then it's processed okay so this is how you can you know sell your product or buy a product so whichever product you create what you have to do is you have to make that product available inside the website that is you have to make sure that has been published only then other users can see your product and you know buy your product okay so that's how you can easily sell a product inside the website i hope it's clear for you guys Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.